Goku has died. He had stood tall against the deadliest of foes, but the mighty warrior was no match for the virus in his heart. Though those close to Goku were overcome with sadness, they continued to lead peaceful lives for some time. But six months later, two monstrosities appeared on an island to the south. Earth's defenders met them head on, but they stood no chance. Piccolo was the first to fall. Then Vegeta, Yamcha, Tien, and Krillin all lost their lives. The two androids plunged the world into a state of constant fear and chaos. It is here, 13 years later, that our story begins. A story about a world without Goku. Vegeta and Bulma's son, Trunks, has grown into a young man with a strong sense of justice. How could the androids do this? How could they be so cruel? <laughs> Gohan is the only warrior left alive to face off against the android threat. Trunks, admiring Gohan's strength and burning with a desire to defeat the androids, makes an impassioned plea. Gohan, I want to be stronger. I want to put a stop to these monsters. Please, train me so I can help you fight. Gohan and Trunks, the last surviving warriors. Trunks. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Gohan. You won't regret this, I promise. Several days later, Trunks begins his intense training with Gohan, hoping to improve his skills enough to contend with the androids. All right, let's get started with today's training. Right! I can't wait! I know I don't really have to say this, but I will anyway. The androids are insanely strong. I'm gonna fight you as if I'm fighting them. If you don't do the same, you're gonna get hurt. Understood. Here I come! I'm going to become strong enough to beat you, and then beat the androids! That's the spirit. It's on now! What's wrong, Trunks? Giving up already? Try this on! That attack was pretty solid. Wow, Trunks. Seeing you fight like this reminds me a lot of Vegeta. Okay, let's call it a day. That means a lot to me, Gohan. <sighs> okay. You're good, Trunks. You're definitely Vegeta's son. I'm still not good enough. I don't think I'll ever be able to beat you at your best. <laughs> no way. You're gonna be even stronger than me someday. I'm counting on it. I sure hope so. All right, we'd better head back. Bulma's not gonna be too happy if we stay out here any longer. Right. Definitely can't let her know I'm training with you. I'll go with you part of the way. Thanks. If we don't hurry, my mother's gonna start worrying about me. Given the way things are now, I wouldn't blame her. By the way, how's she doing? Good. Well, pretty good. She's kind of run into some trouble with something she's working on. Huh. It's hard to imagine Bulma struggling with her work. Trunks, wait! 
Somebody help! Go on. That guy over there's in trouble. Right. I'm on it. Are you okay? Wh who are you two? You were attacked by that thing, weren't you? Oh no! Huh? <laughs> what is this? The... That alarm! It's going to get the android's attention! What? Huh? You hear that, AT? Yeah, I hear it. Sounds like fun to me. We're doomed! Doomed! The androids are no doubt on their way now! Trunks, quickly, take this person somewhere safe. I'll do my best to distract the androids if they show up. Right, will do! Sure hope Trunks was able to find a safe hiding spot. <laughs> oh, it's only you. I was hoping for a change of pace, but I guess that's not gonna happen. This sucks. We're just repeating the same fight over and over again. It's the androids! So what that guy was saying was true! They actually showed up! What are you doing here, Trunks? Uh, I thought I could help you fight them! No. You're not strong enough yet to take him on. Hey, he's already showed up for the party. So why not let him join in on the fun, huh? <sighs> I guess it's too late now. Try to avoid them and stay right behind me as much as you can. Uh, right! Got it! Here I go! Ah! Don't try to win. Just focus on staying alive. Damn it! I'm gonna try to give us a chance to get out of here. Uh-oh. Looks like they're running out of steam. Uh, okay. What are you two talking about? Choke on this! <sighs> too strong. I can't believe Gohan's struggling this much. I wouldn't get too cocky if I were you. This is our only shot at getting away. Trunks! Now's our chance to get out of here. Right! Well, damn. Looks like they got away. Whatever. They weren't that fun anyway. Let's get out of here. Sure. Maybe they'll actually put up a fight next time. But I'm not holding my breath. <sighs> okay. I think they're gone now. Yeah, looks like it. I sure hope that guy we helped out earlier is okay. Yeah, I'm worried about him too. You mind showing me where he is? Sure, I'll take you there. Sir, are you okay? Oh, it's you two! So you're still alive! Yeah, you look like you're doing okay too. You know, when that thing found me, I thought I was a goner. But fortunately, you two came to the rescue. Thank you so much! Ah, oh, it was nothing. By the way, what exactly was that drone? That was one of the Red Ribbon Army's old patrol bots. Dangerous little guys. What? It's programmed to fly around Red Ribbon Army facilities, and if it detects any potential intruders, it sounds an alarm to call reinforcements. Okay, but there aren't any Red Ribbon Army facilities in this area, though. That's true, but it appears the bot is operating on its own. It's forgotten its patrol routine, and instead detects threats anywhere, all around the world. To make matters worse, the androids are the ones around to hear and respond to its alarm. If you don't intend to fight the androids, you only have two options, either evade the drone or destroy it. If the alarm does trigger, you should be able to avoid alerting the androids by destroying the drone right away. I see. Thanks for the information. You really do seem to know a lot about drones and stuff. Indeed. 
That's because I'm a researcher who specializes in mechanical engineering. Anyway, the Red Ribbon Army robots make use of some experimental technology. Their state-of-the-art command drones control other drones, and inside those command drones are some particularly rare parts. I thought I'd try to procure one of those rare parts and finally do something about those drones. But then one of them spotted me. Are you serious? That's dangerous! He's right. You should stay far away from that drone. Huh, maybe you're right. But if you two could destroy that command drone for me and help procure that part, it'd really help me out. Think it's possible? I'll reward you for your efforts, of course. Huh. If that thing's still around to alert the androids, it could end up getting a lot more people killed. So, you'll help me, will you? I suppose. At least as much as I can. Oh, that's perfectly fine with me. I'll be counting on you two, so stay safe. So we're after a drone that can alert the androids. We definitely have to stop it. Right. But if we don't handle this carefully, we'll end up fighting the androids when we don't need to. We have to be smart. You can say that again. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm no match for the androids right now. Okay, let's try to make our way back as safely as we can. Right. Ugh, made it. I bet you're pretty tired. Get plenty of rest. You'll need it for our training tomorrow. Right. Thanks for today, Gohan. See you tomorrow. Okay, Mom. I'm gonna meet Gohan now. See you later. You've been hanging out with Gohan a lot recently, Trunks. You better not be putting yourself in danger. Are you putting yourself in danger? Uh, of course not. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, then. As long as you're going to see him, why not ask Gohan to join us for dinner? We've got more than enough food. That's a great idea, Mom. Gohan will love that. I'll ask him. Okay, bye. Be careful out there. I wonder what today's training's gonna be. Dinner with Gohan. We'll be able to talk about all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be great. I just hope Mom hasn't figured out that me and Gohan are training together. Sorry for the wait, Gohan. You get enough rest yesterday? If not, you're not gonna get as much out of this training as you should. I'm good. Alright. I'm sure you know firsthand how strong the androids are. And that's why we need you to become a Super Saiyan as soon as possible. Okay. Let's get right into it. It's gonna be tough, but once you're warmed up, I'll help you out. So, you ready? Yep, let's do this. Okay, here I come. Good, bring it on. <laughs> okay, I think you're getting there. Right, I can keep going. The key to becoming a Super Saiyan is rage. Once you're filled with enough of it, you'll transform. Good. Get mad. Pretend I'm an android. Let the rage consume you. Looks like you're still not warmed up. You as an android? Well, that's gonna be tough, but I'll try. Nice work. That's enough for now. Got it. It sure is hard to become a Super Saiyan. I mean, I'm really trying to get angry. <laughs> I never said it would be easy. It's really just a matter of increasing your energy and exploding with rage. 
Sounds simple, but to actually pull it off, you're gonna need more training. Right. I won't give up. Oh yeah, my mom wanted to know if you'd have dinner with us tonight. You'll come, right? Uh, dinner? Uh, you sure it's okay? Yeah, I think she's already making enough for all of us. I see. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'll head over. Awesome! Okay, let's get going! My mom's gonna be so happy. I can't remember the last time I had a meal with Bulma. So, you've known my mom for a long time, haven't you? Yeah. I was only four when I first met her. Actually, a lot happened that day. And my life hasn't been the same since. Oh yeah? What happened? Well, it's complicated, but my dad's long-lost brother kind of showed up and kidnapped me. Then I had to basically survive on my own in the wilderness for half a year. What? Really? Y you mean that all happened when you were four years old? <laughs> Sounds unbelievable, but it's true. That's so incredible. I don't really know what to say. I'm back, Mom! And I brought Gohan with me! Glad you're back safe, Trunks. And it's good to see you, Gohan. Yeah, good to see you too. Your timing's impeccable. I just finished preparing dinner. The androids have made it pretty hard to get everything I want. Some ingredients are hard to find. But I try to make up for it with my ability to adapt in the kitchen. I really appreciate this, Bulma. And so, thanks to Bulma's efforts, the three were able to enjoy a nice meal together and relax. Hmm, thanks a lot for the meal. It was delicious. Whoa, you sure can eat a lot, Gohan. Uh, well, it was just so good I couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just like him. Huh? Like who? Seeing you in that outfit, eating like you do. <laughs> you remind me so much of your father. It's almost like he's still here. I wear this as a way to remind myself that I need to be strong, just like him. My dad was a really carefree person. He never let anything get to him, even my mom chewing him out. That's so true. But that didn't stop him from risking his life time and time again to protect me and all the people he knew and loved. He was amazing. I want to carry on his legacy and fight for those I care about, for everyone. But I feel there's more I should be doing. Wow, Gohan's amazing. He's such a strong person. You're doing plenty. <laughs> Rumor has it you're out there giving the androids a hard time all on your own. <sighs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Trunks is impressed too, and unfortunately, now he thinks this is his fight as well. Go on, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know, right? That I'm training to fight the androids? Again? <sighs> you know, it's already pretty late. You must be tired, Gohan. Why don't you just stay the night? Yeah, you should sleep over. Come on, stay, Gohan. Well, I, I am pretty tired. I'll take you up on that offer then. Good. I'll prepare a bed for you. Now, you two go clean yourselves up. You both smell like you've been working out together all day. Mm. Sorry about that. Man, I was freaking out the other day at dinner. I thought my mom figured out we're training together. Well, Trunks... Bulma's one of the smartest people I know. If we keep staying out late, she'll eventually figure out what's going on. Yeah, so what should we do? Well, for starters, we shouldn't train every day. 
it might be best to incorporate some rest days into our routine. It'll be good for our bodies and prevent Bulma from worrying. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Now that I think about it, it'll help me out too, since I'm probably worrying my own mom and grandpa. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been wondering about Chi-Chi and the Ox King. Uh, have you seen them recently? How are they doing? Actually, you know, I haven't been back home since I started fighting the androids on my own. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Every time I'd come back beaten up and broken from a fight with the androids, my mom would go crazy on me. She'd yell at me and tell me not to fight them. But I can't stop fighting. I have to avenge everyone the androids killed. And I have to protect this planet. That's what Dad would have done. Go on. But honestly, I am worried about how my mom and grandpa are doing. Ha, <laughs> look at me. I guess I'm just as much a worrier as my mom. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, enough about me and my family. Let's call it a day, alright? Okay. See you later. Maybe I should go check on Chi-Chi and the Ox King for Gohan. I remember hearing Chi-Chi used to be a martial artist. I wonder if she's still as strong as she used to be. I heard the Ox King used to be scary a long time ago. I wonder if that's true. My mom's known Gohan's family for a long time. Is that him? Huh? What's all that noise? What is that? Something's attacking Chi-Chi! Not good. I need to help her. Get back, you mechanical manies! Leave me alone! Chi-Chi, watch out! Trunks, is that you? Yeah. What's with these robots? I'm not sure. They came out of nowhere and started attacking me! Okay, leave this to me. You go find a safe place to hide. No, I can't leave you to fight these things! I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'm a lot stronger than I look. Looks like these things attack anything that moves. All right, bring it on! It's on now! Take that! You're nothing compared to the androids! Take that! I think the training with Gohan is starting to pay off! Try this out! That's all of them. I hope Chi Chi's okay. Chi Chi, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Although I totally could have handled those buckets of bolts on my own. <laughs> Glad to see you're still full of energy. Yeah, I might not look like it, but I've still got some fight left in me. I am glad you showed up. Thanks, Trunks. It was no problem. What were you up to? Me? No, oh, I was just on my way back from checking on the fields. Cool. I'll escort you back to your house then, just in case any more of those robots show up. Really? Well then, escort away, Mr. Bodyguard. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, Trunks, my boy! I really appreciate you saving Chi-Chi. You know, you'd make Vegeta proud. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? No need to be so modest, Trunks. You fought just like my Gohan when he was little. Uh, really? Oh, uh, that reminds me. I heard you were out there helping Gohan fight those awful androids. You did? Not good, not good. How did he hear about that? If he knows, then my mom might find out. Uh, <laughs> well, you shouldn't believe everything you hear, you know. Oh, uh, so you're not? Well, I uh, guess that's good. Right. Those androids are way too dangerous for a kid like you to fight. I don't even like Gohan fighting them. He was going to be a world-class scholar when he got older. I know how you feel, Chi-Chi, but Gohan's made up his mind. He's our boy, and we should trust him. We just have to hope he stays safe. 
Gohan doesn't fight because he wants to, but because he has to, and he's still thinking and worrying about you. Uh, at least that's what I think. You're right. Anyway, if you see him, would you please tell him to keep fighting, but to try to come home, like, every once in a while? I will. Okay, well, I'd better head back now. Stay safe, you two. Thanks. Give my regards to Bulma, okay? Have a safe trip back home. Thanks. Oh, uh, could you maybe not tell my mom what you heard about me helping Gohan fight the androids? <laughs> It'll just stress her out. <laughs> of course. I knew Chi-Chi'd be worried about Gohan. I need to make sure my mom doesn't find out what I'm up to. Gohan should really try to visit his family more often. Gohan! Oh, hey Trunks. I thought you went back home for the rest of the day. Actually, I was just visiting your mom and grandpa at their place. Oh really? Why would you do that? You said you were worried, so I went and checked on them. There was a small issue, but they're okay. Small issue? Yeah, some weird machines were attacking your mom, but I took care of them. Really? Oh no, is my mom okay? Yeah, not a scratch on her. That's a relief. Thanks a lot, Trunks. Seriously, if you hadn't been there, there's no telling what might have happened. Um, Chi-Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Oh, uh, I can't go right now, obviously, but I guess I'd better start making regular trips back to make sure she's doing okay. She'd like that. Right. Speaking of family, you'd better head back yourself before Bulma starts worrying. True. See you later. If I really want to put everyone at ease, I need to defeat the androids and bring peace back to this world. The area around West City suffered numerous casualties today as the androids continued their rampage. Residents in nearby areas have been ordered to evacuate immediately. <sighs> Um, Chi-Chi wanted me to tell you something. She said keep fighting, but try to make it home once in a while. Mom, just hang on a bit longer. I promise, I'll come back once the androids are gone. The next day, Trunks and Gohan continue their training with a new resolve. Right. Let's begin the training. What are we going to do today? Another sparring match? We can and will do that. But I think we need to focus on making you a Super Saiyan. So let's start there. I'm sorry this isn't going well. I don't think I can become a Super Saiyan today. It's not supposed to be easy. Don't worry. We'll take our time with it. Okay. That explosion. It has to be the androids. I cannot let them destroy another town. Then let's go, Gohan. No. Trunks still can't transform into a Super Saiyan. He's not ready for this fight yet. I'll be back. You stay here. Wait, Gohan! I can go with you and help you fight! You're still not ready to take them on. Just stay here for now. But, like, any help would be better than nothing, right, Gohan? Fine. But try to keep up, okay? And don't push it if you think it's too much. Thanks.
There was only some way of knowing where they are. Hard to do that when we can't detect their energy. We're gonna have to hunt them down the hard way. Why are the androids doing this? Why are they killing people? I don't know. But one thing's for sure. They're clearly enjoying it. This sucks. That's enough, androids! How could you monsters do this? Oh, great. You guys again. What a drag. Let's get rid of them so we can keep having some fun. There are tons of other far more interesting people left to kill. I'm not gonna let you do that! Go on, let me help you fight them! Fine. You can be my support, but try not to put yourself directly in harm's way. Uh, okay! I'm more than enough to handle these losers on my own. Try to make it snappy, okay? We've got places to be. One slip up and we're done for. You need to be careful, Trunks. Right. Here I go! You know, you've got some nerve bringing a little kid with you. Are you, like, messing with us? How long are you gonna keep babysitting the brat? Uh, I'm not a little kid. I'm a warrior and my name is Trunks. Don't let them rile you. If you think we're actually trying, then you're in for a big surprise. Then fight us for real. We're not gonna lose. <laughs> I guess you can fight, kinda. I've trained long and hard to avenge those you've killed. Uh, by you. Now for the finish, here it comes! Aw, Gohan, how much longer are you planning to keep this silly game up? You're such a weak little killjoy, you know that? Give it up already. You have to realize you're just delaying the inevitable. Getting a little cocky, are we? Shut up! I won't let Piccolo, Krillin, and everyone else's deaths be for nothing! It's... it's because of them that I could do this! Go on! Here I go! <laughs> Guess we have no other choice but to show you just how far out of our loop you are. Way to go! That was amazing, Gohan! It's not over yet. Stay focused. Ha! Ah! We're doing it! We're winning, Gohan! Not yet. There's still a long way to go before they're done. Ah! Trunks! Hmm. You thought you were winning? Give me a break. It's lights out for you guys. Well, would you look at that? At least they're good at running away. They're pretty nimble for a couple of meat bags. <sighs> Wherever you're hiding, we'll find you. So, you think we got them, 18? Yeah, they're dead. But even if they are alive, we'll find them. Come on, 17. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, sure. Sensu Bean Trunks, you take it. <clears throat> You're our last hope, Trunks. <clears throat> Oh, 
breathing. You're gonna be okay. We need to get you home. This is bad. The androids were too strong. I'm only getting in Gohan's way. Several days later, though Gohan had lost an arm, he was spared the same fate as the others. After a miraculous recovery, he had regained the strength and determination needed to fight once more. Trunks, on the other hand, felt responsible for Gohan's injury and struggled to find the courage to face his mentor. Huh, you seem out of it, Trunks. Y yeah. I know you were trying to keep it a secret from me, but... I know all about your training sessions with Gohan. I'm sorry, Mom. You used to head over to Gohan's place to train, right? But you haven't been there in a while. It, it's because of me that Gohan... that he... How am I supposed to face him? It wasn't your fault, Trunks. I know that, and more importantly, I'm sure Gohan knows that. You'll feel a lot better if you just go see him and, and tell him how you're feeling. Trust me. I guess you're right. I'll head over there now. Good. Be careful, okay? I have no idea what I'm gonna say when I see Gohan. I'm sure Gohan's feeling better and can move around and stuff. But he probably can't do much training anymore. I don't know if I have what it takes to be as strong as Gohan. I want more than anything to stop the androids. But what if I can't do it? Good, you're here. Let's get started with... Huh? What's with the long face? Gohan... Y your arm... Are you okay? Yeah. It's gonna take some getting used to, though. Oh, I get it. So that's why you seem so upset, Trunks. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it, man. It's in the past, so no use thinking about it now. Besides, I'm just grateful I only lost an arm. But... Okay. If your head's not completely in this then this is no time to be training. No, I can still train with you. Relax. It's okay. Sometimes a warrior has to refocus. You know what? I've got an idea. What do you say we go catch us some fish? Sound good? Uh, okay. You want to go fishing? Where exactly? Huh. Let's see. There's an island near West City with a lighthouse on it. That ought to be a good spot. R right. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever gone fishing with anyone before. Oh, that makes sense. Vegeta wasn't around when you were old enough to start. Yeah. Did my father fish? Not sure. I've never seen him do it. Honestly, I can't really picture him sitting patiently waiting for a bite. <laughs> Oh yeah, good point. When I was a kid, my dad showed me how to fish. He'd use his tail. He'd dip it in the water like a makeshift fishing rod. It totally worked, too. Pretty cool. He, he had a tail? Oh, right, Trunks. I forgot. You probably don't know about that, huh? Saiyans, well, at least pure-blooded ones, are all born with tails. I actually used to have one, too, but it's gone now. So... Do you think I'll eventually grow one, then? Huh. Let's find out. Uh, hey, what do you mean, let's find out? <laughs> you know how to fish, Trunks? Yeah, I think so. While we're here, how about a little competition? The one who catches the most fish wins. What? No way! Hmm? Wait a sec. I definitely can't beat you in a fight, but I think I might actually be able to beat you in a fishing competition. <laughs> Good. Then that settles it. Don't let me down, Trunks. I'm ready for you. Uh, I'm not gonna lose. 
Let's see. Where should I fish first? I did it! I wonder how Gohan's doing. Wow, you caught a lot, Gohan. Let's count them up. Huh. I think you caught more. All right, I beat you! I beat you! Way to go, Trunks. You might be a better fisherman than my dad. So, what should we do with all the fish? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry. Let's cook them. Whew. I, I think I ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> we did fish up a lot, didn't we? Yeah, we sure did. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. Just glad to see you're back to your old self. Oh. Thanks. You went out of your way to make me feel better. Sorry if I worried you. I didn't go out of my way at all. Think of this as just another part of your training. Uh-huh. You mean catching fish and eating them? Totally. It's part of the Turtle School teachings, the ones my dad learned from Master Roshi. According to him, you should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. He'd always say that enjoying life is part of one's training, too. Oh, okay. That sounds like good advice. Training you makes me nostalgic. It takes me back to a time when Piccolo trained me when I was a kid. Back then, though, I thought I was training with a monster. He was so ruthless. Seriously, it felt like a year and a half of pure torture. <laughs> Actually, if I remember correctly, I was training to help save Earth from Vegeta and the other Saiyan jerk Nappa that came with him. Seriously? Y you had to go through all of that because of my father? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it is pretty strange to think I'm training the son of a guy who once tried to destroy the planet. A long time before he trained me, Piccolo supposedly fought my dad as his mortal enemy. Weird how fate works, isn't it? Yeah, it brings people together, like us. Exactly. And all of those people, my dad, yours, and everyone else, they live on in you now, Trunks. Go on. That's why it's so important that you stay alive. And I'll keep training you to make sure you stay that way. If anyone's gonna bring peace, it's you. You're our last hope. Don't worry. You'll surpass me in no time. I promise I won't let you down. Good. We'll get stronger together. And we'll make sure our world is safe again. Right, Trunks? Right! Piccolo sacrificed himself to protect me back then. I was too young to understand. But now I know what he felt in that moment. You're the last warrior alive who can do this, Trunks. It's all up to you. I'm afraid you're our last hope. The people of this world are going to count on you to protect them when the time comes. But I believe in you with all of my heart. You can do this, Trunks. A few days later, Trunks and Gohan's training reaches a fever pitch. Ah! 
get angry. Angrier. <sighs> no! Why can't I turn into a Super Saiyan? You're almost there, Trunks. It's not easy. My dad and I struggle to become Super Saiyans too. It's like I said before. Rage triggers the transformation. True rage. Thinking about Piccolo, Krillin, and everyone else dying, I was devastated with grief. It upset me so much that I was overcome with anger. And it was then that I became a Super Saiyan. You've got Vegeta's Royal Saiyan blood coursing through your veins. You're going to become a Super Saiyan. I know it. Believe in yourself. If you say so. All right. That's enough Super Saiyan training for now. Let's spar. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> You're a lot stronger than you were before. Yeah, if only I could become a Super Saiyan, though. You will. You just need something to help trigger the transformation. The, the city! It's the androids. They finally found their way here. This is it. Ha! Go on. Are you sure you're okay? I'm worried. I might not be able to keep Trunks safe this time. Trunks, stay here, got it? Do not follow me. No, if you're going, then I'm going too. You said it yourself, I'm a lot stronger now. Trunks, you're underestimating how hard this fight'll be. I promise I won't drag you down. I, I want to help you fight them. I get it. Fine, Trunks. Let's go. Okay. Trunks, you're humanity's last hope. If both of us die, then there won't be a single warrior left to protect the planet. As the only one left who's capable of ending this nightmare in a few years' time, you have to survive. I'm sorry, Trunks. I might not be able to stop the androids, but if you were around, I'd be distracted. As long as I know you're alive and safe, I can give it my all. And if I do fail, you'll have what it takes to finish the job. Believe in yourself and become the man you're meant to be. You've got this, Trunks. This is it. It's time the androids learned what we humans could do. Give it a rest, would you, Seventeen? We've already killed almost everyone here. We should head somewhere where tons and tons of people are hiding. It would be way more fun. Why are you in such a rush? Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. If we wipe out all of humanity now, then the fun ends and we've got nothing left to do, right? So Gohan, back for more, huh? No more running away. We're gonna kill you this time. I won't die. Even if you destroy my body. I'll live on in someone who'll become stronger than me. And he will be the one to stop you once and for all. Let's do this, you freaks. Hey, no need to get so worked up, though. Don't worry, we'll make this quick. Yeah, we've grown tired of playing with you. Huh? 
Hey, where's the little runt you brought last time? It's none of your business, jerk! What? You're planning on winning all by your lonesome? I'm more than enough to beat you! Man, you're a real bad loser. You know that? You're done! Give it up! The only one who's done is you! Where'd he get all this power? Ha! Ah! Yeah! Whoops. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> I feel awful for having to disappoint you like this, but we've only been fighting at half our full power. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Gohan. Give up or what? You should. Come on. You've got to have more in you than that. Guess you don't have it in you to fight back anymore. <laughs> Bring it on already. You said you were going to defeat us, right? I think it's time you finally died. This is your last chance to stand up to us. Come on, Gohan. If he even can. Even if you beat me, someone stronger will. <laughs> I think it's time to put him out of his misery, Seventeen. Hmm. Okay. Show's over, I guess. Out. 
to survive. You're our last hope. Him. I can't sense his energy! Go on! Trunks had finally become a Super Saiyan. However, the transformation came at a great cost. Three years have passed. As the only warrior left to stand against the android menace, Trunks continued his training, hoping to one day avenge Gohan and the others. Holding on to hope, End of the Android Apocalypse. I'm back, Mom. Welcome home, Trunks. How was your training? You won't believe it. I feel like I'm finally making some real headway. I might actually be as strong as Gohan was back then. Good. You definitely look pretty confident. But don't let your guard down. Right. I know. Well, you can never be too safe. Oh, that's right! Oh, it won't be much longer until the time machine is finished! <laughs> what kind of a response is that? This is a time machine we're talking about! A time machine! I, I know. I'm really impressed with what you've done. Once it's ready to go, you'll be able to head to the past and meet Goku, Gohan's father. You've probably heard of him. And give him his heart medication. With Goku alive and able to fight, something ought to change. Then you can head back to the moment when the androids arrive to help with the fight. Oh, and gather some useful intel for me. I can then use that information to figure out their weaknesses and exploit them here in our time. But no matter how much I travel to the past, our world won't go back to the way it was. All the people we've lost, they won't come back, will they? Probably not. No. Right. That means my father and Gohan will still be gone. But I should be strong enough to stop the androids now. I shouldn't have to go to the past. Oh, uh, that reminds me, Trunks. There's something I need you to do for me. Really? What's that? Something small. Should be a pretty simple thing. Remember how I told you the time machine's almost complete? Well, I actually don't have enough of what I need for a super important, really critical part. Could you help me out? Sure, I can do that. Where can I find what you need? Mount Paozu. You know, where Chi-Chi's, uh, Gohan's house is. You know how to get there, right? Oh. Yeah, I do. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact spot where you can find the materials. Maybe try asking Chi-Chi or the Ox King. It's been a little while since I've seen them, so I can see how they're doing while I'm at it. Good. That's my boy. If they need anything, make sure to help them out, okay? Sure. 
Oh, I almost forgot. Here's what I need you to bring back for me. <laughs> Thanks. Got it. I'll see you later. First, I'd better go talk to Chi-Chi. Hello? It's me! Trunks! Trunks? Hold on just a sec! Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? What brings you here? Sorry, it's been so long. My mother needs my help with something. Do you have a minute? Sure. We weren't really doing anything right now anyway. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah. The androids never show up here, so uh, we've got it pretty good. At least, not as bad as people in the cities. Oh, okay. I wanted to see if you guys were doing okay or if you needed anything. Nope. We're okay. Glad to hear you were thinking about us, though. What about you? You and Bulma all right? Yeah. My mother's actually working on something. Oh, that's right. She asked me to come here and help find something she needs. I'm looking for this. Do you know where I can find it in this area? Hmm. I have no idea. What about you, Dad? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, there is a place somewhere on this mountain. But the thing is, it's... Is there something I should know about it? Yeah. Some weird machines are wandering around the area. <laughs> Nasty little thing of a bobs. They'll attack if you get too close. I think they're old Red Ribbon Army robots. Oh, yeah. Chi Chi, you were attacked by some robots before. Maybe they're the same type. If we don't do something about them, they might make their way here and attack you again. I'll take them out while I look for what I need. Oh, that'd be a huge help. Thank you. Oh, no, you don't. Gigi? I can't send you off somewhere where you could potentially get hurt. If something were to happen to you, I wouldn't hear the end of it from Bulma. She blamed me, no doubt. Gigi. It's okay. I can handle robots like that no problem. After all, Gohan was the one who trained me. Besides, I'll be careful. You don't need to worry about me, I promise. Once I'm done there, I'll head right back. <sighs> okay, fine. If you're going to give me that look, I guess I can't stop you. But if you find yourself in trouble, you get out of there. Got it? Right. Come straight back here if you need to. Of course. Okay, then I'm off. I suppose Gohan did train him after all. He even sounds just as confident as Gohan. I should take care of those Red Ribbon Army robots before I look for the materials. Chi Chi seems to be doing okay, but I can tell she's still having a hard time. I need to finish what I came here to do so I can put Chi Chi at ease. The Red Ribbon Army sure did leave behind some real nasty machines. So these are the things that have been giving Chi Chi and the Ox King some trouble. They look like real pushovers compared to the androids. I'll wipe them out in no time. Okay, no more interruptions now. I need to find what Mom's looking for. I should be able to find it around here. Okay, this is what Mom was looking for. Time to head to Chi Chi's place, then home. Chi Chi, Ox King, I was able to find what I was looking for. I also took out those Red Ribbon Army robots. Good. I'm glad to see you're safe and that you got what you needed. Me too. Way to go, Trunks. You're becoming quite the capable warrior. Have I told you you're like Vegeta? It's because of Gohan and his training that I'm as strong as I am now. And it's because of him that I'm even alive. Well, I'm sure Gohan would be really happy to hear that if he were here. While I am lonely without Goku and Gohan, 
I've got my dad here to keep me company. And Bulma's got you, doesn't she? True. At least we all have each other. Speaking of Bulma, you said she was working on something? Then again, I guess she's always doing that, huh? <laughs> you got that right. Actually, this time, she's working on a time machine. That's why she needed what I came here to get. Uh, did you say time machine? Wow, that's uh, one heck of a thing to create. I'm pretty sure Bulma might be a genius or something. She's going to have me use the time machine to go to the past. That way I can give Goku some medication to keep him from dying. With Goku alive, we should be able to find a way to stop the androids. Well, that's the plan at least. Wait, so does that mean Goku and Gohan will come back to life? <clears throat> Probably not. I don't think changing anything in the past will affect us here. It's really unfortunate. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Uh, oh no, it's it's okay. If you can save Goku in the past, please do so. At least past me won't be so depressed. I'd be a little jealous of her though. Yeah, I'm with Chi Chi on that one. I understand. I wish there was something I could do. You're sweet, Trunks. You don't need to worry about us. Make sure you keep taking care of Bulma, okay? Be careful on your way back. You're welcome here anytime. Oh, and tell Bulma I said hi. Okay, thanks you two. I'm off then. I hope we can restore our home to what it used to be. Chi Chi said not to worry about her. But I can tell she's having a hard time. All right, Mom's waiting. I'm back, Mom. This is what you needed, right? Yep, that's it! Oh, now I've got what I need to finish the machine. <laughs> Thanks! So, how are Chi-Chi and her dad doing? They're fine, but they still seem like they're struggling with Gohan's death. If I can find some time, I should probably try to visit them occasionally. Right. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. It would be great to head to the past and help create a world where Gohan and the others are still alive. I sure wish I could at least take the androids out now and bring peace to our world. Sure, that would certainly help us here, but we don't have what it takes to pull that off right now. That's why we need you to go to the past and save Goku. That'll hopefully change everything we need to help us here. I mean, better than letting the androids continue to toy with you, right? Even if it is another world, there should be a future without the androids somewhere. Come on, you've got to give it a shot. It, you're right. Trunks, I finally did it! Thanks to your help, I was finally able to finish my work on the time machine! Really? I should be able to charge up enough energy for a round trip pretty soon! Twenty years into the past ought to be possible. This thing takes about eight months to charge, so I can't really run any tests. I think you'll still be good to make it back here safely, though. I would have been able to create a much more reliable machine if my lab hadn't been destroyed. <sighs> Mom, I think I'm strong enough to beat the androids now. We won't have to risk a trip to the past. Oh, Trunks, not this again. I'm serious. I'm confident. I have what it takes now. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news on the android threat. The androids have been spotted wreaking havoc in the vicinity of West City. That's close. Wait a minute, Trunks. Don't you even think about it. I'm heading over there. I can't let them keep doing this. Trunks, stop! Do not go fight them!
Given my training, I should be even stronger now than Gohan was. Today's the day I avenge everyone they murdered. Just you wait, androids! There's no point traveling to the past if nothing here will change. If I take out the androids now, I won't have to go to the past. There they are! Finally! Hey, Seventeen. I think we killed everyone here. Let's head back. Good call. All right, you monsters. The killing stops today. You're going to pay for what you did to Gohan. Hmm, it's the brat again. Still hasn't learned his lesson, huh? You don't know when to give up. I hate that. It's been three years since you murdered Gohan. I've spent that time getting better so I can kill you. I'm done hiding from you. You two are finished. Better, huh? Hate to break it to you, but it still won't be enough to stop him. You're not very bright. You really think you can win now. Take this for the last. Okay. I'll admit you are a tiny bit better than before. Hey, what's the deal? Weren't you gonna kill us? You may be bigger than you were before, but sorry, Pumpkin. Truth is, you're still just a weak little boy. How am I still not powerful enough to beat them? Shut up! I trained long and hard to defeat you two! I can do this! You sound like you're out of breath. Getting tired? You know, we've got infinite energy reserves in our bodies. We can do this all day. Literally. I know you were trying to settle the score, but looks like that- It will happen! Just you wait! I'm going to stop you two! Not much longer. Not much longer until I get my revenge! Stop acting like you're winning. How's that? I did it! I finally did it! What? Hmm. <laughs> I'll give you a little credit. You are actually stronger. But your attacks are too predictable. You're just gonna tire yourself out, little guy. No! This can't be happening! What? Where... Where'd they go? <laughs> Why... Why are you doing this to us? Well, Dr. Giro created us to help him take over the world, but honestly, we couldn't care less about that. We can't stand looking at you people. We just hate you. It's that simple. <clears throat> That's why you're killing us. You have to be stopped. I'm an idiot. I wasn't strong enough on my own. The androids are far too strong. Gohan's dead, and I learned nothing from his death. I guess... I guess I have to use the time machine to go to the past. Though critically wounded, Trunks managed to survive, and in five days' time, he awakened. His fight made him acutely aware of his shortcomings, so he decided to take Bulma's advice and travel to the past. All set. Remember, you absolutely have to give Goku his heart medication. And be careful, okay? Right. You too, Mom. 
I'm counting on you, Trunks. Okay. Wish me luck. And so, Trunks journeyed to the past, dispatching Frieza and his men with ease, and meeting a younger Vegeta and Bulma, as well as their friends. Shortly thereafter, Goku arrived on Earth, Trunks informed him of the events set to take place in three years' time and gave him the heart medication. Still hopeful his actions in the past would improve his world, Trunks made his way back to his mother in the future. I'm back, Mom! Welcome home, Trunks! The time machine hold up okay? Yeah, I was able to meet Goku and give him the medication. Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't able to run any tests on the machine, so I was worried it might malfunction. Then again, a genius like me doesn't make mistakes! <laughs> so, did you happen to meet anyone else? I did. I met a younger you and Gohan, as well as Krillin. And father, too, of course. Oh, you met a younger me. Well, what did you think? I was a looker, wasn't I? I mean, that hasn't changed, of course. It, yeah, she trusted me right away. I'm guessing it's because she sensed some sort of connection with me. Uh, huh. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, right. I didn't have much of a choice. So, you said you met Vegeta, huh? He was a real pain. I bet he gave you one heck of a hard time. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say he was a pain, but he was definitely intimidating. I could tell he had a strong sense of pride. <laughs> yeah, that's him. He was pretty standoffish, so I didn't get to talk to him much. Which is good, I guess. I couldn't let him find out who I am. But I was glad I finally got to meet him. Maybe it's for the best you two didn't talk much. Who knows? You might have ended up regretting meeting him. Back then, he was... different. So he really was a difficult person then? Uh, kind of. But he wasn't always so cold to everyone, you know. Oh yeah? I'm sure I would have learned that if I'd had more time with him. Anyway, all that's left to do is wait for the androids to show up there and go provide support. I wonder how Goku and the others are going to fight the androids. I hope they can find a way to beat them. Okay, I'll start getting the time machine in working order again and charge up some energy for another round trip. It'll take some time though, so make sure you're good and ready for the trip. Right, will do. The machine's finally got enough energy for another round trip. Now you can go back and help the others. I hope they're all safe. I'm sure they are. Maybe they've already defeated the androids and brought peace back to the world. If that's the case, it might be nice to bring the others back here with me. The time machine only has room for one person. But I can totally see the others cramming their way in anyway. Goku would jump at the chance to take on more powerful opponents. <laughs> You're right. Based on what I saw of him, he would probably be excited to come here. But if they haven't defeated the androids, you're planning on joining in on the fight, aren't you? Just be careful, okay? Don't get yourself killed. I won't. And you stay safe too, Mom. I'll make it back in one piece. I can't rest until our world is at peace too.
And so, Trunks made his way back to the past. Little did he realize that waiting for him there were two completely different androids, as well as less ruthless but still dangerous androids 17 and 18. And to make matters worse, Cell, a bio-android far deadlier than the other androids, had appeared and threatened all life on Earth. But thanks to Goku and the others' training, as well as Gohan's transformation into something beyond that of a Super Saiyan, Cell was defeated. With peace now restored in the past, Trunks returns to the future, more experienced and determined to save his world. Mom, I'm back! Welcome home, Trunks! Wait just a minute! Look at you! They say kids grow up fast, but this is ridiculous! I trained in a special place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. It's on Kami's lookout. One year inside is only a day on the outside. Not really sure how that works, but at any rate, I'm just glad you're back and doing okay. So, did everything work out? That look on your face tells me it did. It did. Oh, so Goku still ended up dying in the end. Well, at least Gohan was able to avenge him. Yeah. Oh, and you were right about Father. He wasn't just a cold-hearted person after all. Huh? When I first saw him fight, I honestly thought he was just a ruthless, selfish person. You know what I mean? If you and baby me were ever in danger, he didn't try to save us. All he cared about was his opponent. Oh, Vegeta. Can't say I'm all that surprised, though. <laughs> but during the year me and him trained together, he was more focused on the moment. He was tough on himself and even seemed a little lonely. Right. Now that I think about it, he could be like that at times. He wouldn't spar with me at first, but eventually he grew to acknowledge my power. We would have serious sparring matches and sometimes even conversations. Conversations? About what? Um, well, I say conversations, but it was really just me talking to him, not with him. He would only reply with, I see, or Hmph. the conversations never really went anywhere. Jeez, <laughs> that's Vegeta for you. But, right as our training was coming to an end. Trunks tells Bulma of his time in the past, specifically when Cell, eager to increase his power, began draining the population of their energy. Nearly a year inside the hyperbolic time chamber had passed since Vegeta and Trunks first entered and began their training to defeat Cell. Come at me at full power! Okay, Father. Here I go! I shouldn't have to say this, but do not hold back! I won't! This is it! Still not enough! Are you talking about yourself, or about me? Just shut up and fight! That's too slow! Believe it! This is it! Very well. That should be enough for now. But I'm still a far cry where I should be. You even more so. Father! You know... It's almost been a year since we started our training. We should probably get ready to give the room to Goku and Gohan. No! Not until I achieve the absolute power I deserve. I intend to use every second we've got in here. But you've already broken the Super Saiyan barrier. Are you trying to push yourself even further? <laughs> if I plan on destroying Cell and finally putting Kakarot in his place, then I need to be stronger! I'm not going to get through to him at this point. 
He won't stop training until he's the one who's satisfied. Father, is surpassing Goku more important to you than defeating Cell? <laughs> You've got it a bit wrong. What I want is simply to be number one. Kakarot just happens to be an obstacle between me and my rightful place at the top. And what's worse is that he's a Saiyan like me. Trunks, as a proud Saiyan yourself, you should never set limits on the power you can attain. You should always strive to be the best. But know this, as long as I'm around, you're going to have fierce competition. Father, this might actually be the first time he's given me fatherly advice, if you can call it that. This obsession with power. Goku loves to fight powerful enemies too. Maybe it's a pure-blooded Saiyan thing. In my world, all I could think about was defeating the androids. Restoring peace was more important to me than the pursuit of strength. You said that Gohan was the only one who trained you, right? <laughs> he's just as soft and naive as Kakarot. No, he's not. What's even more concerning, though, is that I was killed by the androids in your time so easily. Me, the Prince of the Saiyans. Huh? Don't be satisfied with simply beating the androids and restoring peace. Those are short-sighted goals at best. I'm going to push myself harder. And I won't stop until I am number one. If you do the same, and you aim for something better, I'm sure you'll have no problem with the androids. Father! You're right. I'll do what I can. I see. So that's what he told you. Why does he have to encourage him in such a roundabout way? I actually tried talking to him about other things, too. But when I asked him when he started to develop feelings for you, he got really angry and told me to stop asking dumb questions. <laughs> also, in the fight with Cell, he got really angry when Cell killed me. Wh what did I tell you? I told you he wasn't that bad. Yeah. Wow, was that really my Vegeta? I never knew he had that side to him. Oh, what a relief. I'm glad to hear things ended well over there. I'm relieved too. Looks like going to the past was a good call. The past may be at peace now, but our world here is still in turmoil because of Androids 17 and 18. I can't let them get away with this anymore. We interrupt this program to bring you news on the Android crisis. Androids 17 and 18 are currently laying waste to... The androids. This ends today. I'll be back, Mom. Trunks, are you sure you can do this? I'll be fine. This is the whole reason I went back in time and met Goku, Gohan, my father, and the others. The past has its peace now. We deserve our own. Be careful, Trunks. Please don't get yourself killed. Of course. And this is it. I can finally avenge Gohan and the others. It's been a long fight, but it's finally about to end. If only you could be here to see this, Gohan. I've become more powerful thanks to my father, Goku, and the others. The androids are going down! Ah! Damn you! Damn you! Hmm. Look at you. You're throwing a little temper tantrum because you lost the game. Shut the hell up! I don't want to hear a peep from you! Seventeen! Eighteen! This is it! This is the day you finally pay for what you've done! Trunks, 
So you're alive, huh? Makes sense, I guess. You always were a little too dumb to give up. Seventeen, I'm in a really bad mood. I know you want to mess with him, but I'm just going to kill him right now. Because he's annoying as hell. It won't be as fun without him around. But sure, okay. Go for it, Eighteen. This has gone on far too long. Ever since you two first appeared, every day has been like hell as we struggled to survive. Hmm. So what's your point? The versions of you I met when I traveled to the past were actually kind of nice. But here, you've done nothing but destroy towns and cities and murder countless people. You're gonna pay for it! Oh my god, would you shut up? Let's do this! This is it! What the hell? Why am I struggling like this? I'm not like I was when you fought me before! This is it! Wow, 18. You're getting kinda sloppy. Damn it! I've had enough of this little punk! I'll take both of you on at the same time! What's going on? Something's different about him. Let's do this! You two are finally going to meet your end! You hear me? <laughs> You're crazy if you think that's gonna happen. Let's kill him, Seventeen! Well, you finally get what it's like to suffer like your victims? Us suffer? Are you serious? Don't let him get to you, Seventeen. There's no way he can beat us. No use! What? What's with this power? This is Goku's, Gohan's, my father's power! Okay, so you're a bit stronger. Now it's time to pay you back for everything you've done! We're losing? We're actually losing? No use! Take this! We're at full power, damn it! How is he stronger than us? You finally get it, but it's too late! This is it! Take this! That was for the friends of mine you killed! And this? This is for Gohan! <laughs> You're finished! It's over. I finally did it, everyone. Wait, not yet. There's still one thing left. Just over three years later. With 17 and 18 gone, people have begun to rebuild cities and towns that were ravaged by the androids. Trunks was eager to inform those in the past of his success, so with the time machine fully charged, he prepared for another trip. All right, Mom, I'm off. Have a safe trip, Trunks. Tell everyone I said hi. Sure. <laughs> you need to leave, Mom. Head somewhere safe. Huh? Uh, oh, okay. I know you're over there, Cell. What? 
You plan on killing me, then traveling to the past to absorb androids 17 and 18 and obtain your perfect form. How? How could you possibly know that? Your plan's going to fail, because I'm going to finish you off once and for all. My plan's going to fail, is it? <laughs> well, you're awfully cocky. Cell, your perfect form was insanely strong, there's no doubt about that. But as you are now, I'm more than enough to destroy you. Oh, I get it. So you went back to the past. I see. That's why you know so much. <laughs> Such a sneaky guy. But I have to say, I'm surprised to hear you say you can destroy me. Drunks, I have plenty of data on you thanks to my spy robots. <laughs> you idiot! You don't have enough power to lay a finger on Android 17 and 18, let alone me! Pathetic! Oh? Then why aren't 17 and 18 around anymore? What? Impossible! So you're the reason the two of them are gone! It's because of you! We're not fighting here in West City. People have worked too hard to rebuild. I'm taking this fight somewhere else. He hasn't transformed yet. This is my chance. I can't let him travel to the past. You may be a bit stronger than before, but if you think you can beat me, well, you're kidding yourself. You're weak! I'm going to make sure you don't go to the past! You... you pathetic child! I am the ultimate anti, created by the great Dr. Jerome! Once I kill you, I'll head to the past and achieve my perfect form! This world's been through enough hell! This ends now! No! You're about to learn the hard way just how much stronger I am! I, on the other hand, know everything about you! What are you talking about? I knew it! <laughs> You're nothing! You're just a pathetic child! <laughs> No. Give it up, Cell! You're done! Damn you for robbing me of Android 17 and 18! I deserve- I just gave them a taste of the pain they loved inflicting on us! Take this! Go. Damn it! If I had achieved perfection, you would be nothing to me! Nothing! Sorry, but you're never getting your perfect form! This world's finally at peace, and I intend to keep it that way. This is it, Crush it! This can't be happening. I am the ultimate android. I can't lose to a crap right No! I'll have to stop you to save her! I am the ultimate EA! Take this! What? <laughs> no, you give me no choice. This move should be familiar. Ah, me. Ah, me. What? Cell? You don't belong in this world! Damn. 
见了。It's over. That's the final loose end. Thanks, everyone. Trunks! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Now I have even more good news to share with everyone. They're gone, Gohan. The androids are finally gone. And I promise to make sure the peace you and all the others fought for lasts as long as possible. Trunks' long, hard-fought struggle with the menacing androids had finally come to an end. No more would humanity live in fear. Now, the people of Earth would know true peace. And, as long as Trunks is able to fight, this newfound peace will surely last. A few years have passed since Trunks' defeat of Cell. The survivors of the android onslaught have continued to rebuild their towns and cities, and their lives have finally returned to normal. Now, free from the fight for survival, Trunks also spends his days living a peaceful life with Bulma. Where to next? <sighs> Mom still hold up here. All right, I'm gonna go on another patrol now. I wanna see if Chi Chi, Master Roshi, and the others are okay. You're calling them patrols now, huh? You know, things have gone back to normal. You should try to relax more. I know nothing major has happened since I defeated the androids, but I still feel like we should be on our guard. Fair enough. Well, good luck on your patrol, then. Be careful, okay? Right. Be back later. Let's see. Where should I start? Hello there. Uh, huh? Uh, oh, uh, hello. Well now, you certainly do seem to possess a good spirit. A uh, spirit? Future freedom fighter, Trunks, the warrior of hope. I don't know what it is, but there's something... something different about this guy. Just... who is he? He's floating? <laughs> there's no need to be surprised. After all, you can do this too, can't you, Trunks? Uh, who are you? How do you know my name? You're... you're not an android, are you? Why, you insolent little... Do you have any idea who this is? He occupies a position higher than that of even the Kai's. He is none other than the Supreme Kai. Wait... Higher than the Kai's? Supreme Kai? I don't know what any of that means. But are you trying to say he's a guardian or something? No, not exactly. It would take a great deal of time to explain, but all you need to know at this point is that I stand above the beings who govern this universe. Right, I see. This gentleman here is my attendant, Kibito. Hmm. Hello. 
he doesn't seem that friendly. We're here to inform you that Earth, no, indeed the entire universe, is in grave danger. The entire universe? Hold on. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Your reaction comes as no surprise. Allow me to explain everything as best I can. A great evil is on the verge of awakening from a deep slumber. A terrible creature that once threatened all of existence. He is capable of destroying hundreds of worlds in just a few years' time. This being is known as Boo. Majin Boo. Majin Boo. He sounds terrifying. The person responsible for Majin Buu's creation, the evil wizard Bibbidi, planned to attack Earth and brought the orb in which Buu is sealed. With Buu sealed away, we were able to defeat Bibbidi, but we left the orb where it was, fearing we'd accidentally break it. Unfortunately, Bibbidi had a son, another evil wizard known as Bobbidi, who aims to break Buu's seal and unleash him upon the world. He'll no doubt revive Buu, fulfill his father's wish of laying waste to this planet, then move on to other worlds. Th that sounds awful. Indeed, that is precisely why we are here. We need your power to stop Bobbity. Your Super Saiyan ability will be of great use. Whoa, you know a lot about me. So this wizard Bobbity you mentioned, is he really that strong? Bobbity himself is frail and poses no real physical threat. However, his deadliness lies in the strange magic he wields, making him a difficult foe. He is capable of controlling the minds of the evil and covetous. Bobbidi uses this sinister technique to afford himself a large number of loyal minions who do his bidding. Magic? I don't think I've ever fought anyone who uses magic. In order to prepare you for the fight ahead, we'll need you to join us in the land of the Kais and learn to wield a sword of legend. A sword of legend? Yes, in the sacred land of the Kais, where we'd like you to follow us. I see. I'm not sure how much help I can be, but if it's to defend peace, I'll join you. But before I do, please give me some time to speak with my mother and take care of a few things. Is that okay? Understood. Once you're prepared to leave, please come speak to me again. Oh, Trunks! You're back already? Did you forget something? Mom, something's come up and I don't think I'll be able to come home for a while. Huh? Do you think you'll be gone for long? I'm not entirely sure. But don't worry, I promise I'll come back. <sighs> I understand. Try not to get yourself into trouble, okay? Right. Wish me luck. So the universe is in danger. It doesn't really feel like it right now, but it sounds pretty bad. The city's looking more like its old self. It would be unwise to keep the Supreme Kai waiting. Right. Uh, this guy's kind of scary. Have you accomplished all that you needed to? Ready to travel to the land of the Kais? Yes, I'm ready to leave. I'm very glad to hear that, Trunks. So, uh, how do we get to the land of the Kais? Kabito here will be taking us to the sacred land. Now then, Kabito, if you would be so kind. Supreme Kai, I must admit that I'm uneasy about letting a mortal step foot in such a sacred place, but if you command it... I'm getting the feeling this guy doesn't like me. Now, stand by my side. Uh, okay. Okay, we're off. Kai Kai! What? Is this... instant transmission? Indeed, it's a special technique of Kabito's. Welcome to the sacred land of the Kais, Trunks. So, this is the land of the Kais. It kind of looks like Earth. 
This place is a holy world which not only mortals, but even the Kais and other gods themselves are not permitted to enter. You should feel honored. Oh, I see. Hmm. That mortal outfit of yours does a disservice to this esteemed world. Huh? W wow. It suits you, Trunks. Uh, you really think so? <laughs> it's kind of hard to move in this. Now then, allow me to once again explain why we've asked you to come here. As I mentioned to you back on Earth, we will have you learn to wield the legendary sword of this land. That is none other than the Z-Sword, a legendary weapon that has never been wielded before. You mean, no one's ever used it before? Then how am I supposed to learn to use it? First, let's have you take a look at what we're talking about. Follow me. This blade thrust into the ground here is the Z-Sword. To the best of my knowledge, no one has been able to remove the blade from its rocky prison. Okay, so that's what you meant by never been wielded. So, how will this sword help us once it's out? Is its blade extremely sharp or something? Legends say you will be imbued with immense power. Perhaps even enough to destroy the infamous Majin Buu. For eons this has remained. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could remove this remarkable sword. So as a mortal, you will most certainly fail. Well, I guess we'll just have to see for ourselves. Hmm. Here it goes. <laughs> Damn, it won't budge. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Huh? Oh my. This is what a Super Saiyan can do? What incredible power you have. How could a mere mortal possess this? It's no use. Several Supreme Kais before you have tried and failed to remove it. There's no chance you could ever succeed. No! He did it! Uh, wh what? <sighs> I... I don't believe this. Tell us, Trunks, how does it feel to wield the legendary Z-Sword? I've been fighting with a sword for a long time, but this... This sword doesn't really feel all that special. Is that so? Perhaps if you spend more time with the blade, you can eventually draw out its latent power. Well, he should familiarize himself with the sword in combat. Indeed. What? <laughs> wait, wait a minute. This sword is extremely heavy. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to fight using this thing. Could we maybe hold off on the training? I need some time to get used to wielding it. What? Such a disrespectful request. Wait, Kabito. Trunks is well within reason to request that much. It might be prudent for him to get comfortable with the blade first. Mm. Very well. See to it you do not put off your training for long. R right. Seems Kabito has taken on the role of instructor here. Wow! 
I am truly at a loss for words. I never imagined you'd be able to so freely wield the Z-Sword in such a short amount of time. A most impressive feat! It took some effort, but I think I can wield it like any other sword now. Hmm. Supreme Kai, should we perhaps move on to the training at this juncture? I think we can. What do you think, Trunks? So, what exactly are we going to do for the training? Am I just going to spar with you, Kabito? Hmm. That should suffice. Let's begin. Wait. I think I'd like to gauge Trunks' ability and his technique with the Z-Sword. What do you think? What? You want to fight me yourself? I, I'm sorry, but you, the Supreme Kai, intend to fight? It'll be fine. In fact, I'm quite looking forward to the fight. After all, we'll get to learn more about Trunks and the Z-Sword itself. Understood. If that's how you feel, then it would be an honor to fight you. Now, please don't hold anything back. Okay. Time to put this Z-Sword to the test. Here I come! Good. I want to properly gauge your power. This is it! Here we go! It feels like forever since I've fought with a sword. I think you're doing quite well. Just as I envisioned, this power is incredible! There's still more where that came from. Just you wait! Take this! Perfecto! Supreme Kai, how's this? This... this is unbelievable! What's the matter? Are you going easy on me? Well, maybe a little, since you're a god. But I'm going full power now. Take this! Take this! Take this! I never imagined you possessed this much power. And once I master this sword, I should be even stronger. What's the matter? Are you going easy on me? Well, maybe a little, since you're a god. But I'm going full power now. Let's leave your training here for now, shall we? I'm afraid I won't be able to keep up much longer. Magnificent! Your power and abilities far exceed anything we could have imagined. I'm confident our decision to choose you was the right one, Trunks. Uh, thank you. But I still don't feel much power coming from the sword. Hmm. Perhaps you still need more practice. Hopefully something will change if we give it more time. Trunks, your training is showing results. You, the wielder of the Z-Sword, should have what it takes to draw out the blade's power. Uh, right. I'll do what I can. Actually, given what I was able to glean from our sparring match, it seems we aren't suitable training partners for you. We've underestimated you. In a good way, someone of your caliber deserves stronger opponents. That means a lot, coming from someone like you. You'll no doubt get much more out of your training if you're up against someone much stronger. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. As it stands now, there is no one in this land any stronger than we are. If fighting with us is not sufficient for your purposes, then you will have to train within your own mind. There, you should be able to conjure any sort of powerful opponent and reflect on their technique. However, that sort of exercise has its limits. Okay. Hmm. That's it! That's exactly it, Kabito! Huh? What? What do you mean? I'll peer into your mind, then take whomever you envision and project them back more clearly into your mind. If all goes well, it should appear as though that person is actually right in front of you. Wow, that's amazing. A wonderful idea, Supreme Kai. You've outdone yourself again. Well, shall we get started then? Just go ahead and imagine someone with whom you'd like to spar. A training partner, huh? Someone really strong would be the most effective for improving as a fighter. So, have you thought of a good training partner? Yes, I'm ready. 
the strong person I'd like to fight is him. Wow, it's Gohan. It's really him. Now then, Trunks, try to remember how this person fought and spar with him. Sure, I'll see what I can do. Incredible. He's just as powerful as he was when I saw him fight back then. So this is Gohan's power. Time to show Gohan how much better I've gotten. I don't think I would have been able to fight like this back then. I've gotten a lot better. I know it's just a simulation, but it feels like I'm fighting the real deal. I did it. Uh, thanks for the help, Gohan. It seems your training session was much more productive than when you fought me. Kabito and I weren't able to draw out any of the power you just displayed. Oh, no problem. You were a big help, Supreme Kai. I wouldn't have been able to spar with Gohan like that if it wasn't for you. This Gohan you imagined, he appeared to be a child. What sort of person was he exactly? In this world? He was my master, but in another world, he was the one who saved Earth. Unfortunately, the Gohan in this world has long since passed away. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be here, and our world would still be in turmoil. I want to be strong like him. In fact, I need to be even stronger than he was. I see. While it is certainly a shame that Gohan can't be here with us, I'm grateful we have you as this world's next savior. We know the entire universe are counting on you. You're our last hope. Last hope? <laughs> what a strange coincidence. Gohan actually said the same thing to me before he died. Oh, it's no coincidence. Gohan was right to place his faith in you. And I will do the same, Trunks. <laughs> well done, Trunks. It seems you've truly mastered your technique with the Z-Sword. Thanks to you, Supreme Kai. I wouldn't have been able to make this much progress on my own. Seriously. If I'm being honest, though, I feel like I've really only gotten an arm workout out of this. To think that the first to properly wield the Z-Sword would be nothing more than a simple mortal. How strange. Now then, Trunks, let's finish up your training. This here is Kachin, said to be the hardest metal in the universe. Go ahead and try to slice it with the Z-Sword. You got it. Okay, throw it when you're ready. Supreme Kai, it's Babidi. It has started. He's begun to make a move on Earth. What? The time has finally come. Let's make our way back to Earth, Trunks. As long as you have the Z-Sword, you should be able to stop Majin Buu's revival. Right. Uh, oh. Um, could you give me my old clothes back before we leave? Uh, I think you look quite nice in those, but very well. Kabito, if you would. As you wish, Supreme Kai. Thank you very much. I feel more like myself in these clothes. Hm. Now then, to Earth. Kai Kai! This energy... 
What is this evil energy? This power. It's unbelievable. Is this Majin Buu's energy? No, Majin Buu hasn't been released yet. This energy most likely belongs to Babidi and his minions. But it's only a matter of time before they release Majin Buu. We have to stop them before they can do that. I've never felt energy this wicked. We have to stop Babidi and his minions. I can sense a great evil energy. This is nothing like when I fought the androids. <laughs> Those! No, neither of them are Bobbity! <laughs> Company! <laughs> there is absolutely no way we're letting you get past the two of us! Be on your guard! Both of them are under the control of Bobbity's mind magic! What? Supreme Kai, that creature, is that? The demon beast Yakon. I can't believe Bobbity has that kind of creature on his side. Demon beast Yakon? That's right. He's an unbelievably powerful creature, feared the universe over. As I mentioned before, Bobbity uses his magic to control and assemble strong fighters. They're very dangerous. Okay, understood. Don't worry, Supreme Kai. I'll take care of them on my own. With the training I've received from you, as well as the power of the Z-Sword, I should be able to defeat them. The Trunks, wait! If I can't manage to take care of these two, I can't expect to survive the fight ahead. Oh, and also, I'm itching to put all of that training to the test. Supreme Kai. I understand. We'll place our trust in you, Trunks. Look at this! You want to take us on all by your lonesome? We're Lord Babidi's elite, you know. You're in real trouble now. <laughs> I'll cut you to pieces. Let's do this. First, I'm going to defeat you two, and then I'm going to take out Bobby. <laughs> what an idiot! He actually thinks he's going to beat us. I'll crush you, then devour you. Sorry, but I'm not looking to be anyone's lunch. What the hell? How oh, is he faster than me? I'm told people fear you, but I can't imagine why. Oh, this, this isn't fair! I would have no problem in the dark! Damn, a change of scenery wouldn't change the outcome. You're going to lose no matter what. <laughs> I did it. Now on to Bobby. Yes. That wasn't half bad just now. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> you idiot. As we speak, Lord Bobbity's already reviving Martian Boo! What... what... what do you mean? <laughs> You're... done... for... What? Hmm? Supreme Kai, I can sense a wicked energy in another location. How did we not notice it before? These two, they increased their own evil energy to distract us. No, they intended to stall us and we fell right into their trap. Be that as it may, I don't sense Majin Buu's energy, so we still have time. Let's get going. The wicked energy is coming from over there. Hurry, Trunks. Ah, this is bad. I can't believe they were just a diversion! I hope we make it, we have to! Damn that Bobbity, where is he? So, you finally found me. Bobbity. 
Wait, that small creature is the wizard Bobbity? Then who's the larger guy with him? Deborah, what is the king of the demon realm doing here? The worms all seem to have gathered. <laughs> Deborah, Th this guy, he feels way stronger than Perfect Cell. My apologies, Trunks. I wasn't aware Bobbity ensnared such a powerful foe. We, we should be okay for now. Majin Buu hasn't been released yet. There is still hope left. Indeed. I seem to require just a bit more energy to bring Boo into this world. No matter, though. I will be gathering that energy now. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, my. Well, I suspected you would try to stop me. Deborah, what should we do about these pests, hmm? I can think of no better way to celebrate Bajin Buu's revival than to destroy them gloriously with my demonic power. <laughs> Lovely! How about it then? And make it extra flashy! Yes, my lord. <laughs> I'll store the energy produced from the damage you take from Debora to help revive Majin Buu! <laughs> And it's only a matter of time before I have enough to release him. At full power! This is not good. If we take too much damage, we'll only further contribute to Majin Buu's revival. Then that means we just need to take this guy out fast and prevent Bobbity from gathering enough energy. Hmm. I suppose that's true, but... We have no other choice if we want to stop Majin Buu from being released. I'm worried Deborah might be a bit more than you can handle. I'll assist you as best I can. Supreme Kai, if you will fight, then so will I. Capito, it might be better if you stood by for now. Yes, Supreme Kai, as you command. Ready for this, Trunks? Yes. <laughs> Do you honestly think you can win? You're nothing but fools. I'll eradicate you in an instant. Slaughter them, Debora. Yes. His energy is overwhelming, but I can't let it intimidate me. I have to do this for Earth. You're the king of some evil world. I'm going to stop you. <laughs> Allow me to at least commend your spirit. Devor is far more dangerous. Watch yourself. <laughs> is Boo still sealed in his orb? I've been gathering energy for ten years. I won't let that time go to waste. I cannot allow Lord Bobbity to wait any longer to realize his plan. The time for games may soon have to end. <laughs> Trunks, are you alright? No, I've taken damage. I think we're still fine for now, but be careful. Impressive. Impressive, but your true struggle starts now. I'm going to persevere, I'm gonna beat you. There's more to a demon king's power than this. Good, good. Not much longer now before we have enough energy. No, that's it, Devora. Keep it up! Who's <laughs> almost at full power? Martin Bruce's seal will soon be broken. This isn't good. We're screwed. Don't give up, then. We can still pull this off. <laughs> Trunks, drop the sword! It's going to turn to stone! <laughs> No! Not the Z-Sword! <laughs> the Supreme Kai and his fools are done for! Hooray! Hooray! Martin Boo is as good as revived! I won't allow that to happen! Even if it costs me my life! <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Kai! No! 
You of all people must not die! Kibito! Oh. <laughs> You'll meet your lending debt soon enough. Trunks! Trunks! You have to do this! You're... This world's last... Hope! <laughs> Only you can do this. You're this world's next savior. If anyone's gonna bring peace, it's you. You're our last... Hope. Obtained. I won't let you take that away from us! You two! You two are gonna pay! There's something different about him. What is this? The Supreme Kai? Kibito! They didn't deserve this! <laughs> so you are more powerful than before. How is this happening? Are you able to do this or not? Answer me! There's no need for concern. This duel is about to break, and when he does, I'll strike. Or to a demon king to power in this. You better be right! If you fail, my plan goes up in snow! Is this all? I am aware. Allow me to do this. Ah. <laughs> the change is only skin deep, it seems. You're still weak. You, you fool! Nobody does this to me! I am the king of the demon realm! This is for what you did to Kabito! There's more to a demon king's power than this. Take this to Sengo! And this is for the Supreme Kai! What? Where? Where are you getting this power? You pest! What? what? I can't move! Trunks, now's your chance to finish him! Leave our world the hell alone! And so, the fight ended. Though he had lost the Supreme Kai and Kabito, Trunks could finally breathe a sigh of relief. Earth was at peace once more. No more would androids sell or the fear of Majin Buu threatened the people of the planet. Towns and cities would prosper 
and people would carry smiles on their faces, unaware of the sacrifices made by the warriors who fought to defend their lives. But such knowledge is not their burden to bear. Trunks will ensure it never will be as he continues to fight for peace. Supreme Kai, Kibito, thank you for everything. Go on. I promise. I promise to do everything in my power to protect this world. Hope's last defender remains ever vigilant.